And now medical news. It's a scene played out on TV, medical dramas, and in real life across the country. Doctors racing against the clock to get a donor heart to a patient in dire need. Now David Wright tells us about an almost sci-fi technology to keep those fragile donor hearts beating. And we have a warning for you. Some of the scenes are medically graphic. Inside this box is something you don't see every day, even if you're a cardiac transplant surgeon. A human heart still beating, even after its donor has died. It's like something out of Edgar Allan Poe. Something like that. Still pumping until the moment surgeons place it in its new recipient. The heart doesn't miss a beat, as it were. <laughs> Literally. That's new in the world of heart transplants and potentially revolutionary. Normally, the organ is stopped and kept on ice. Yeah. The surgeons have to thaw it out one hour for every hour it was frozen. The time that the, we allow the heart to be outside of a human body is usually six hours. And with this? With this, it can go on, maybe up to 24 hours. Not only that, but with this experimental procedure, the surgeons can see right away if the heart is viable. This allows you to kind of test drive it? To a certain extent, that's probably a good analogy. With a frozen heart, it's always a guessing game until it's too late to put the old heart back. There are now more than 3,200 people on the waiting list for heart transplants. Every year, 10% of them die waiting. This procedure could expand the pool of recipients because a donor heart can travel farther to find a possible match. Andrea Ibarra was waiting a year and a half for a matching heart, so she was willing to be among the first. Before the surgery, she'd get winded just walking down the block. So this is a piece of cake now. Life is still different now. You just want to go out and enjoy every minute of it. You don't believe that life is so short till you actually go through something like this. And you have that heart to thank for it. Mm -hmm. And I thank God and her every day for this. One day we'll meet again. Thanks to this experimental surgery, not anytime soon. Yeah. David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles.